and I have decided to do a little section and I think I'm going to call it Make Do Monday. So hopefully this will go up on Monday. If it doesn't, future ones will go up on Monday, but I was just excited about this and I wanted to get it up. So uh, lately I've been obsessing over washi tape and I'm sure everybody knows and it's been around a lot longer than um, I've known about it because well we know I haven't I didn't scrap for so long but um, I've had an obsession with it and I don't have that much so you would think that it would be I'd have a little more if I have an obsession but I've been stocking all the buying sites where I can buy washi tape and and I've been going to the stores and just looking at it all and and I've come to the conclusion that I don't want to spend money on it. One, because I don't have a job right now and I don't, I won't be getting one for a couple of years, at least a year because I'm going to school. Um, and two, I will never use the same pattern that, that much. I will never use that much washi tape of the same pattern. I may use a technique, a scrapbooking technique to death, but I'm never going to use this much washi tape of snowmen in my lifetime. So I've decided that um, I need to come up with a way to make my own. So I washed, I was washed, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and I came up with, found a bunch of different ideas online. Um, and all you have to do really is type in YouTube and type in um, DIY washi tape or DIY tissue tape. It's, you're gonna find a million videos. But I thought I would share with you what I'm doing. Um, I used to be a close to my heart consultant and for whatever reason I acquired about 592 or 200 <laughs> not 592 but closer to 200 maybe a little more sets of stamps and I don't stamp I don't care for stamping I just I used it in projects and then I would just throw it in the shelf and let it sit there um, but since I needed to um, curb my washi tape obsession, <laughs> I decided to dig them out and see what I could find. I dug out all of my stamps and I looked through them and just found a whole bunch of them that I thought I would be able to use to make this. Um, this particular one I used here. I hope you can see that. Just says love you, love you, love you with little hearts. And this one right here is this. Oh, I love all the dots. Like I have a dot here and I have a dot. Whoa, I have a dot here. I love all the dots. Uh, there's, I think they're just pretty versatile. And I have different widths of this tape, which is actually score tape. So it's going to have a see-through, when we're done, I'll show you. It's going to have a see-through quality like the washi tape does but it's not removable because I'm using score tape and this is a half inch and this is a quarter inch I put myself on a no buy for December and I'm not sure when this order is going in but I do have an order in for one inch washi tape and that's about this wide there's also um, I'm sorry not washi tape score tape so when you use score tape or whatever double sided adhesive that you use, unless it's repositionable, it's going to be permanent. But if you want to use um, this, which is first aid tape, if I can find the end here, it's not as transparent as washi tape or regular tissue tape. Um, it's still got a little bit of that quality. Let's see, I have one here that I did. This was just a play one. Um, so you're gonna get the feeling of transparency. Not quite as transparent as, as one of these will be, um, but it's repositionable. You can move it around a lot. And this has been moved around quite a bit. But with both of them, one of the things that you're going to get is the ability to tear. Um, like the washi tape, you can just tear it off the roll. And with this, you can just, you can tear it as well, which is something that I really like. I like the torn edges. And I like the ease, 
of this, but I like this the um, look of this. So what I've done, what I do is I take mm, tissue paper from the dollar store or wherever, you know, you probably have tissue paper in your closet. You want to try and find the flattest section of the tissue paper. A lot of times you'll get tissue paper and there'll be huge wrinkles in it. Personally, I don't care if there's wrinkles in it because I like distressed um, things. I like things to look like they've been used and reused. So the, the wrinkles in it don't bother me. But if they bother you, you can, for the most part, you can press them. You can kind of rub them out. You'll get most of it out and it won't really show when you stamp. So what I did is I just lined them up. Oh, and on tissue paper, a lot of times there's going to be a shiny side and then a dull side. I like to stamp on the dull side. So um, I made sure that the adhesive was going towards the shiny side. And then I just cut them all apart and, and now I have strips. I think today I'm going to make a skinny strip. So all you have to do is take your stamp that you wanted to use, this one is the polka dot one, and find the color ink that you want and it's, it's just so quick and easy. Press washi tape. Well, technically it's tissue tape because it's tissue paper, not washi paper. Okay, super simple. And now this end here, there, close enough. I'm not right over it like I normally would be, but you get the idea. Um, where is this? So all you do is you tear it off, you peel the back, and you press it down. Now like I said, this this with the score tape is going to be permanent, but you get the you get the transparent quality that you like with um, washi tape. I didn't cut that very well. You get to, you get the torn end, you get your polka dots or whatever it is. Now you can't pull it off, obviously, but if you get it right the first time <laughs> on your page, or just don't don't lay it, you know, you know how to do that. Um, but that's it. That's it. That's washi tape. This one here, I did the other day with a background stamp. If you're just starting out and you don't have 200 plus stamp sets like I do, um, just look at the stamps that you are, are looking at. Look to see how versatile, like if you were to get this stamp set, which I don't think is available anymore, but just say if you were to get this stamp set, I could use this part of the heart to, to get that swirl effect. I could use this part of the tag and get that swirl effect. I can use this as a border, which I did right here. Not as a border, as, as a, for the washi tape. Um, I could use this. So it just look hard at your stamp set that you're looking at and try and figure out how many ways you can use it as a stamp. I did, or as, as you know, for the tape. I did use, let me show you this. I used this set here. I just used this stamp for the clock face. So I really liked this, just this section of the clock face. And I used, um, let's see, where's the other one that I used? Yeah, it's this one. I used this one, so you can see this. You can't really see it on here, but I used this in parts of it. There's a part there, there's a part over here. I use this to go over the whole thing for numbers. So you can get depth and you can get dimension and you can get a lot of use out of, if you're like me, stamps that were just sitting around in the cover trying to get sold. Um, now I've ended up pulling them all back <laughs> and looking through them all to see what I can use. But so far in, in, let's see, I was playing with this last night for maybe 20 minutes and I came up with all of these different this is um, this is a barcode stamp, and this is the dot stamp we were just using, and this is a background stamp. It's actually a where is it? Oh, it's over here. It's actually this big wooden 
background stamp. And what else was I going to tell you? Oh, I used for this one here. Um, my sister-in-law used to belong to a Stampin' Up! Club, and I would go with her or place orders every once in a while. And I started collecting the wheels, and I could never get them straight because I didn't have the tool you were supposed to use with it. So what I ended up doing was getting a, an acrylic block that was wide enough for the wheels, and I just cut them off the wheels, and now I can get them straight every time, or pretty close to straight if I use my uh, Stampin'-Majig. And... That's how I got this one here. Can you see that? So cute. Oh, I love this. I'm so excited. More dots. What else do we hear? This one is an Argyle one, which I think will look better once I have the one inch tape. So I think because there is so much more to this stamp that the section that I did get, I just don't think is, it doesn't, doesn't give me the effect that I want. And I have some um, alphabet, that I took off the roll, which is just, I think if I could get a little bit wider, you could actually see that it was an alphabet, right? So you, you could actually see the letters instead of just parts of letters to try and figure out what it might actually be. So I'm quite excited because I have all these stamps that I haven't used in forever. And I thought I would share with you what I'm doing to get my washi tape fix. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and also, if you decide to make this, make some of your own tissue tape, put a link down below and sh if you have a blog or anything, put a link down below and show me or you can even just send me a picture in the email if you want and I would be very excited to see what you've done and maybe get some ideas from you too. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Okay, so I just got back from the dollar store. I had to run to Target to meet someone, and I found oh, I found some more um, tissue paper. And I got a whole bunch, but I really like... Oh, look how cute that is. So I've got that. It came with solid red and that stripe. And then I got some blue... Oops, can you see that? And I really liked these. And this one's got green with it. Here's some more green. But it's got that one. I got some Christmas. And then a great big one of snowflakes. Here's all three of them. Four. Plaid, blue, and snowflakes. And then a whole kit of kit pack of just plain colors and I'll probably use the blue, the green, and the red the most. And then I'll just stamp right over the top of them. So I thought I would add this in. I was quite excited, especially about that foil paper. So go to the dollar store. Go hog wild. Oh wait, wait. Oh, it's a no by December. Darn it. Well, We'll start our no by December now. <laughs> Have a great day.